Okay, good morning everybody. This claim might sound surprising. How can mathematics support uh, the enterprises? I'm going to ask the answer this, uh, this question during my pitch, but first of all, I want to introduce my organization, which is, that is Portello Matematico per l'Industria Italiana. It is a project of the Istituto per le Applicazioni del Calcolo of the Italian National Research Council. We, uh, this, uh, uh, our organization born in uh, 2012 and has been funded for uh, uh, three years by the Ministry of Education, University and Research. Our job is to put into contact the enterprise, the productive sector with the research group in applied mathematics. Our focus is on, is on the needs and benefits of the, of the enterprises. Now, enterprises and research groups speak different languages. So our job is to facilitate their cooperation. Essentially, we discuss with a company about their needs and problems. We translate into a, uh, mathematical, uh, into a mathematical framework and we look for the, the uh, suitable research group to start a collaboration. So, essentially, we are brokers and we try to build a network among the productive sector and the Italian group of applied, math uh, applied mathematics. So, Back to our first question, how can mathematics support the industry? Let's see through some, uh, um, to, to, through some examples in life sciences. For example, the blood system is a complex fluid dynamic network involving several processes at several uh, scales. Now, there are lots of mo mathematical modeling, models describing this system in its entirety, in its uh, entire complexity, from the larger arteries to the smallest capillaries. So what we can say is that there is math inside our veins. We can use this mathematic for in, a, in a virtual prototyping manner, so trying to develop new therapies and new treatments. For example, a draggy Latin stent. Mathematics can support the productors in, f in finding the, use, the suitable variables to be optimized. And the same, the same, uh, in the same philosophy, mathematics can support in the, in the development on uh, contact lenses that releases drug inside the cornea. Another field is that of a statistical method for big data, for example, the uh, statistical method develops for, uh, to, to analyze microarrays from DNA sequencing. Or the mathematics for a network. And the, an application uh, is in protein-protein uh, interaction and to find the suitable co correlations among the different variables in this complex system. Or there are uh, mathematical models describing diseases such as diabetes, or HIV, or tumor growth. Uh, a, an experimentalist can be supported by these methods to de develop new therapies or to test assumption. Or there is mathematics describing the epidemic spread. This method, these mathematical models were used, for example, in the UK from, uh, by UK authorities uh, in 2009 during the swine flu uh, outbreaks. E epidemiologists and mathematicians worked closely to develop uh, uh, an effective vaccine campaign. I just want to uh, uh, end up with a success story uh, of collaboration uh, in medical imaging. The Department of Applied Mathematics co co uh, cooperate with a company in working in open magnetic resonance machines. The problem of the enterprise was that the magnetic fields developed a distorted image, a distorted final images. The research group worked on a mathematical method to correct this, uh, uh, this problem, and so to have a more reliable, uh, a more reliable image to analyze by the, by the doctor. So this method was 
was uh, translated into a, into a software tool that was embedded in one of the co in the in one of the product of the of the company. So the final benefit of the company was a product innovation. So a software tool customized to their needs. So that's it. For me, uh, I invite you to take a look at our website, sportellomatematico.it, for, for uh, further details. If you have a further question, I'll be here with my colleagues, Mario Santoro, uh, during these two, two days. So thank you very much.